Hi everyone, welcome back to the Run Right YouTube channel. This is an exciting video for me because we're going to be having a look at the men's 10k event. That was a 10k race that took place on the 22nd of October and I was ecstatic to finish in first place. This video will have a look at some of the training that I'd done in advance of the event, some of the videos that were taken on the day by friends and family and I'll share some post-race thoughts as well. So a good starting point for this video is probably to talk about the purpose of doing the 10k event. I've spoken quite a lot on my Instagram posts and two prior videos on here about how 2023 hasn't really been a great year for me for running. I picked up multiple injuries and had quite a few periods where I was unable to run, had to have quite a few physio visits etc and basically that meant that most of the race plans I had for this year were written off. So the men's 10k was suggested by Owen, my coach, as a final attempt to get some sort of race success in the year. The training that I had been doing in and around that time was pretty, pretty strong and we knew that we had a reasonable amount of time to build towards the race as well. So that was the reason for signing up for it. It was an event that I had done in the past. So I took part in 2015 with my brother James. That was prior to taking up running properly. Um, I think I managed to do just under 41 minutes that, at that point. And that was a very, very hard effort, sort of falling on the floor type effort um, at the time. So this would have been very different <laughs> compared to then. So let's have a look at some of the training that went into getting to the 10K start line. So I've lifted some of these summaries from my Strava page so you can see the types of runs that I've done in advance of the men's 10k. A basic summary is twice a week trying to aim in and around that 10k target pace and supplement that with a long run. I also had cross country relays which came back around now we're going into winter and also had a week away in Ibiza on a family holiday which I used for training as well so I got a pretty decent 5k effort in and some steady long runs as well. So that was it, training done, ready to go so let's have a look at some of the race footage that was kindly captured by friends and family on the day. So here we are just setting off on the Royal Mile you can see me on the left hand side wearing the blue arm sleeves the start at races is always pretty fast, so you never get too carried away. Uh, this video gives a pretty good indication of the size of the field on the day, so I think there was about 1,500 runners. So after a frantic start on the Royal Mile, it was a fast downhill on the mound before running through Princess Street Gardens and then joining back up on the Royal Mile further down. I was feeling very comfortable at this stage, I think we are maybe about couple of kilometres in and um, probably could have been a little bit more aggressive given the downhill uh, start to the race but I was quite comfortable at this stage sitting in with the front pack and seeing what the pace was going to be like. I think to begin with it was around about three minutes a kilometre right. which usually would be pretty fast but given the downhill start it was fairly comfortable. When you go guys keep um, it going. We just seen Ryan Kirkland there from Lothian Running Club he had a solid run on the day as well finishing within the top 10. And you can see the gaps opening up at this stage with other runners following on. We've got some shout outs. We've got Neil McCabe coming past there, who is on one of the Run Right Six Week on, plans. On, and we've got Owen Williams, coach of Lothian Running Club, going past there in his Lothian vest. You can see the other runners making their way down the Royal Mile. And we also have Ryan Ferguson, well another done, Ryan. Lothian runner, coming job, past mate. here as well. So this footage picks us up at kilometre 9, the front pack that you could see earlier whittled down to a front 3 between kilometres 4 and 6 and then that reduced down to myself and shout out to Cam Matthews who we ran at the front Go between kilometres 6 and 8 together. From kilometre 8 I decided I needed to make a move to try and make sure I got myself home first. So you can see me here approaching around well, about 9k with a bit of a lead All the way, David, and well leading into what was probably the longest kilometre of my life running round and round Murrayfield. 
So I'm adding this little clip in just so that I don't spoil the audio in the finishing clip. The shouting and screaming that you're about to hear is from my family, friends, running club members, etc., who came along to cheer and support me on the day. Some of the funny looks that they got in the crowd were priceless and gave us all a good laugh afterwards, but I absolutely loved the support and I really wanted to keep in the audio on this part. So that was it. First big race event win for me. I was delighted to be able to take part and to finish the race first and to be able to share a video like this with you all as well. I was a little bit gutted afterwards because the front finishers weren't acknowledged as part of the event. I do understand it and that's not the purpose of this specific event, which is totally fine. But hopefully next time I win a race, there'll be some sort of tape there that I can celebrate with. The remainder of 2023 for me um, is basically spending some time getting a couple of operations done, which I'll share some posts about, um, and then hopefully commencing a strong winter build to move into 2024. So I'll hopefully share a few more videos on here of different types of running content. And if there is anything that people are interested in or would like to see, please just send me a message and I can get onto that. But again, thanks for watching and hopefully see you all soon. That's it off now. Back to it.